Question number 19, uh, 2020 KCSE Mathematics Paper 1. Uh, we are told a triangle ABC is right angled at A. The vertices of, triangle, tri of the triangle are A, uh, 1 minus 2, B, 5, 4, and C, M, N. The equation of line BC is 5Y minus X is equals 15. Determine the equation of line AC in the form of AX plus BY plus C is equals to zero, where A, B, and C are integers. And you get four marks. Then uh, Roman number two, the coordinates of C. You get three marks. Uh, B, a line passes through point A and is parallel to line BC. Determine the x-intercept of the line. Uh, maybe we can, uh, can, can make a sketch of uh, the triangle here. Uh, so it is right-angled at A. So that's our sketch of the triangle. Uh, so this is a right-angled. Uh, then we are told uh, uh, this is, so this is A. Can say this is B. And that is C. We are told the coordinates of A are 1 minus 2, uh, B, 5, and 4. And we are told this is M and N, coordinates of C. Then we have been given the equation of line, of line BC. It is 5Y minus X is equals to 15. So with that, you you will be able to see all the information provided uh, in a better way. So we are told to find the equation of line AC in the form. AC is uh, this line. Uh, and to be able to get the, the equation of the line AC, uh, what have we been given? We are told AB and AC are perpendicular. That is the right angle at A. Therefore, since we have been given the coordinates of A, the coordinates of B, we can get the we can get the equi the, the gradient of this. That is, uh, we say a gradient of AB is equals to. We can say it is four minus minus two. You divide by five minus one. Five minus one, and this will give you. This is uh, 4 plus 4 minus minus 2 is the same as 4 plus 2. So this is 6 divided by uh, 5 minus 1 is 4. So this will give you 3 over 2. That is the gradient of AB. And since AB and AC are perpendicular, then it means the gradient of AC is equals to uh, minus 2 over 3, such that when you multiply the gradient of two perpendicular lines, the, the, sh the product should be equals to 1, minus 1. So th 3 over 2, you multiply by 2 over 3, you give you minus 1. Now, with the gradient, now with the gradient of AC, and we have one point A, then we can get the equation and say, uh, so we use 1, so, so we use Y minus uh, minus minus 2 so that will give us pl y plus 2 or just let's write it uh, uh, y minus minus 2 to be clear and x minus 1 should give you the gradient which you have found is minus 2 uh, and you have 3 so when you cross multiply uh, you'll be able to get this is uh, 2y that is, you multiply, this is uh, not 2y by 3y, you multiply 3 multiply by y minus plus, plus 2, that will give you 3y uh, plus 6 is equals to, uh, then we say, we multiply x minus 2, that will give you minus 2x and, uh, we, we, and minus 2. Uh, that is minus and minus that will give you positive. So you bring everything to this side since we are required to write it this form. Uh, so this will give us 
uh, 2x uh, then we have uh, plus 3x plus 3y not x plus 3y then we bring 2 to this side it becomes minus and we have minus plus 4 and that should give you 0 so that way you have expressed uh, AC the equation of S in terms of AX plus BY plus C so that's how you do that and by doing that then you'll be able to get four marks uh, Roman number two the coordinates of uh, AC the coordinates of C now uh, we have been given the the equation of AC uh, we have found the equation of uh, AC and we also have the equation of BC so they share a common point uh, at C and therefore we can equate the same the equation and say uh, if we if you uh, if we write this uh, equation as y divide both sides we, we take x to the other side to be positive so it will be 1 over 5 uh, x that is the equation of bc uh, you divide by 15 by 5 you get plus 3 uh, we already have the equation of uh, AC uh, which we can rewrite as uh, we take uh, uh, we take uh, Y is it let's take 2x to the other side it will be 2 over 3x and we have uh, we take 4 to the other side and divide by 3 it will be uh, 4 divided by 3 now because they share a common point let's separate that then we can equate the, they share a common point at c then y is the same at c and therefore we can say 1 over 5 x plus 3 is equals to 2 over 3 x uh, minus 4 over 3 so you equate that so you can put the right terms together take x take uh, 1 over 5 to the other side that will be give you so this it implies that 1 over 5 uh, x you add to uh, this is minus uh, because we have the gradient there is minus uh, so this is uh, 2 over 3 x uh, then you say it is equals to uh, that will give you you take 3 to the other side 3 uh, becomes minus minus 4 over 3 uh, when you work it out you'll be able to find x is equals to minus 5 when you get x is minus 5 you can substitute here uh, so this will be in one of the equation if you substitute in the first one 1 over 5 multiplied by minus 5 that will give you minus 1 so it means y is equals to uh, y is equals to 2 so the four coordinates of c are minus 5 and 2 so by doing that you'll be able to get three marks uh, then we come to part b a line passes through point a and is parallel to bc uh, so we can make uh, we can represent that line so a line here a line here we can uh, say it passes uh, through a and it is parallel to bc it is parallel to bc you can put it like that when we are told that two lines are parallel it means that they have a the, the, the gradient is the same so the gradient of that line is equals to we have found the gradient of uh, this is uh, 1 over 5 1 over 5 uh, now that we have the gradient uh, we can be able to get the equation of the required to determine the, the, the x-intercept so we can first of all start by getting the equation uh, when you get the equation then what do you get uh, we have uh, we have one point which is a so we can get the equation we use the point a and the gradient so we say it is a uh, y minus minus 2 that will be y plus 2 uh, you divide by 
x minus 1 it should give you 1 over 5 the gradient of because the, the gradient is the same as the gradient of bc when you rearrange this equ uh, equation of uh, line bc the gradient is 1 over 5 you take x to the other side becomes positive you divide both sides by 5 you'll be able to get y is equals 1 over 5 x plus 15 so when you cross multiply you'll be able to find uh, y is equals to y is equals to 1 over 5 x uh, minus 11 over 5 you cross multiply x multiply x minus 1 multiply by 1 uh, y plus 2 is equal you multiply by 5 you'll be able to get this equation so at x is int determine the x intercept so at x intercept y is equals to 0 so you just equate this and say 1 over 5 x minus 11 over 5 is equals to 0 take uh, take uh, 11 over 5 to the other side that is uh, 1 over 5 x is equals to 11 over 5 you, you multiply both you multiply both side by 5 you find x is equals to implying that x is equals to 11 so at y intercept at x intercept uh, x intercept is 11 because uh, what we mean by that is that uh, this is where the line let me show you uh, if we have that y intercept means where the the line cuts the y so this is our y this is our x so where the line cuts the y axis that is uh, that is that is where the determine the that becoming uh, a line passes through uh -huh, determining the x intercept of the so we are saying x intercept is where the uh, the line cuts the x-axis so that's why we are saying the value of y is zero this is called y-intercept this is called x-intercept at y-intercept the value of x is zero at x-intercept the value of y is zero so that's how you do that and should be able to score 10 marks